What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, which is coming out August the 20th. The devs over at Sucker Punch kind of talked about this as something they wanted to do for the community for the one year anniversary of the game. It's kind of hard to believe the game's been out for a year. It was an absolute phenomenal game. I really, really enjoyed playing it. And they wanted to add some new things to the game. They also wanted to do some changes, I guess, kind of to the uh, the main story that we're, we've already played through. If you think about Director's Cut, you know, they kind of add some things in that they did not put in the game, maybe. But there's also some new things being added in, which I was really happy to hear. They're not going into great detail about every single thing. That's kind of talked about what we can expect in general. I'm sure since this is coming out on the 20th of August, we'll probably get some more details in the next month or so. Uh, first of all, they said a whole new chapter and new characters will be added in. Also, new environments to explore, new techniques, new mini games, new enemies, new uh, animals to pet, and they said much more. Also, there will be uh, this will be available on old gen and new gen. So this will be available on PS4 and PS5. Now you can expect some, you know, better improvements on PS5. And they said with the uh, 3D audio and the adaptive trigger. So they're working with some things like that for the PS5 version. Also, if you're a fan of Legends, if you're still playing Legends a good bit, that will be getting some improvements as well and some new things added into it. Now they did not go into any detail of what we can expect with the Legends. They said they will give us more information on that at a later date. Also, this upgrade version, of course, will be the upgrade for PS4 for the Director's Cut is going to be $19.99. It said if you own the Director's Cut, it will be $9.99 to upgrade to PS5 at any time. So if you buy the Director's Cut on PS4, you can upgrade to the PS5 version at any time for $9.99. It says upgrade from the PS4 to PS5 Director's Cut is going to be $29.99. So if you just own the base version of the game and you want to upgrade to the PS5 Director's Cut version, that will be $29. But if you do purchase... Like I said, purchase that director's cut on PS4. You can upgrade to the PS5 version at any time for $9.99. So they got a few different price points there they're going with. Um, not a bad deal, in my opinion, if there's going to be a lot of new content with this. Also, you're going to get to play the story through again, it seems like, with some new parts to it that were not added into the game to begin with. It's kind of interesting that they're doing a director's cut. Uh, there's been a lot of rumor lately that Sony is going to continue to do director's cuts with several different games. This may be some company's ways of... Instead of just really calling it a technical, you know, a technical term of a new DLC, they actually can go in and add things in the game that was not there to begin with and kind of, you know, like I said, call it as a director's cut. Like you would think of a movie or something like that. When you always get the director's cut of movies, it's always longer. More things that are in there, you know, more commentary, that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of interested to see how the director's cut of The Ghost of Tsushima is going to work. If we actually get a lot of new content, I think a lot of people in the community will be really happy because there's so many fans out there, including myself, that would love to see DLC for this. Uh, would love to see more things added to the game. I mean, I, I can't wait really until Sucker Punch says they're going to make another game. I'm sure it's going to be in the works. I'm sure it probably already is in the works. I'm sure there's going to be a second part to this game or another just game in general. But, uh, I'm, you know, we don't know how long that'll take. This game was in development for a really long time over at Sucker Punch, so it may be a good long while before we see a second game. But I think a lot of people would really, really love to see more and more content brought to the Ghost of Tsushima uh, over the next couple of years. Um, I think people would come back and always play it, it, no matter you know how long it's you know been out. It's just that good of a game, in my opinion. So leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think. Are you looking forward to getting the director's cut? Um, have you played it on PS5 yet? Are you looking forward to playing it on old gen, new gen? Whatever the case may be, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. And check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.